Alain Leroy Locke. Alain Locke was born in Philadelphia in 1885 and studied English and philosophy at Harvard University. He was repeatedly refused at Oxford University because of the color of his skin. He was eventually admitted to Hertford College, where he studied literature, philosophy, Greek and Latin. In 1910, he continued his studies at the University of Berlin and then at the Collège de France the following year. Back in the United States, he met W.E.B. Du Bois and Carter Woodson, who encouraged him to develop his philosophy. He received his doctorate in philosophy from Harvard in 1918. He converted to the Baha'i religion that year. Locke helped African-American artists, writers and musicians of his day. In 1925, he published an issue in survey graphic magazine entitled Harlem, Mecca of the New Negro devoted to the Harlem Renaissance. This issue aimed to introduce the Manhattan cultural movement and tolerance. He brought together a series of African-American works in the New Negro, which became one of his best-known works. Several schools bear his name, including Locke High School in Los Angeles. This is the most prominent of what Alan Leroy Locke said, Art must discover and reveal the beauty which prejudice and caricature have overlaid. The younger generation comes, bringing its gifts. They are the first fruits of the Negro Renaissance. Youth speaks, and the voice of the new Negro is heard. The younger generation is vibrant with a new psychology, the new spirit is awake in the masses. Each generation will have its creed. All classes of people under social pressure are permeated with a common experience, they are emotionally welded as others cannot be. With them, even ordinary living has epic depth and lyric intensity, and this, their material handicap, is their spiritual advantage. We must never forget that the dance is the cradle of Negro music, not by way of the forced and worn formula of romanticism, but throat the closeness of an imagination that has never broken kinship with nature. Art must accept such gifts, and revaluate the giver.